dance and run in and through a field of grass it begins to seem like a sheet of glass on a TV screen This for done. Amazing. All right, do you need me to ask a question? Where are we going, Joe? No, I have not. Uh, your seatbelt, Mister. Despite the draw, despite the war, like it's been held until I'm this old, with the perfect way for it to unfold. Morning, everybody. Just came up to the uh, accessory building location just to check things out. We're doing our final pour on Monday. So lots of effort went into the construction of this pad. <laughs> I had no idea. You have to build a, um, a footing and which is underground, this flat thing. And then you have to get that approved. They want to see the rebar in the footings. So you can't, without approval, even pour concrete. And then you have to build the walls and they have to re-inspect that to see that there's proper amount of rebar in the vertical walls. And then they filled the whole thing with sand. And then you have to dig trenches and put pipes in for the toilets and all the plumbing and then cover it and then compact it. <laughs> and then you have to put styrofoam and they have to inspect that. And then they want to see, um, the. in our case, we put, um, heated floors so there's piping for heated floors and anyways before you pour the final coat of concrete which is just going to be the concrete floor we're doing polished concrete floors um, all those steps have to go in in that order and be approved along the way which is great because really the CRD are just protecting our interests uh, making sure that it's built properly it's not going to crack it's not going to freeze it's insulated so I'm all good with it um, but I had no idea for me, I just thought a concrete floor was a concrete floor. So here it is, I'll show it to you quickly and then I'll um, I'll show you whether uh, they're putting on the polish on Monday. This here is um, gonna be a concrete pad for the water tanks for the property. Uh, we do have a well, but we're putting, we're storing water up here. So we're gonna trickle feed from the well keep it nice and full and close to the accessory building because we'll use a lot of water here. And propane, we're using propane to heat the floors. And if we ever want a heater, I don't think we're gonna need it, but because we have heated floors. A little walkway in between. And then this end, you can see, so there's, there's so many layers underneath this. It's actually probably a foot and a half deep of sand um, that's compacted and styrofoam and layers of rebar and you can see all the white and red uh, water lines so we basically heat up the water and then we pump it through the floors and all the rebar every foot um all the way through the whole building and so even in the toilet area in the shower it's going to be heated floors so they're going to pour the concrete on monday and then they can start building the walls. This is the outdoor shower. 
So this will get filled with concrete too, and then we'll build up a nice wood platform above it so that you're standing outside in nature. There's gonna be a pond there, and we're gonna clean up some of those trees. And then uh, that little one inside there with the wood frame is gonna be a indoor shower. And uh, we're kind of building it like a couple shower, so uh, there's two shower heads. And um, this will be the two sinks and the toilets will be there accessible from the outside and the laundry facilities at the back. So very excited to get the building going on this thing. Couldn't believe how long it took to go through the approval process again, which is all necessary. Um, but it's just going to be fun to get this going.
<laughs> okay. I just had to film this because well, because Dawn's decided. Dawn, okay, hold on a sec. Okay. So this is the front of the cabin. It's orange and green. Super sexy. It is. I like. I no, I thought it was kind of nice. So Dawn thought, you know what? I'm gonna paint it because we're gonna build a bench here. This is our outdoor kitchen, right? Work yeah. in progress. And uh, so she took all of our cans. Well, you describe what you did to get well, the color. I did already in a previous video. But anyway, okay. whether it gets used or not. But anyway, I took all the leftover paint and mixed it up. And this is what I ended up with because I had white, brown, and a charcoal black color. And so I ended up with this gray, which is silly not putty. My it's silly one. putty color. Not my number one color, but it's free. I mean, paid for once. But yeah. Anyway, so now I'm trying to make it look a little more woodsy and aged. So what are you doing? And so I'm drinking three where, different... where, where is your supply coming from? A little hole down here. <laughs> yeah. With my nice cords. Super okay. attractive, yeah. I know. Okay. And then here's my technique, everybody. This is going to get a million hits on YouTube. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. And then just rubbing it in. Don't get scared now. Don't what? Don't get, don't get your slivers now. Watch for nails. Okay, so let's. There's the comparison. Well, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna be here for a while, but it's pretty good. And the paint's not even dry, really. She painted yesterday, but it's. Well, it is only six degrees out. And it's 100% humidity, right, from the rain, obviously. And then. I love your creativity, Don. Thanks, eh? You're just gonna have to grab a, a bucket of dirt. Yeah. Right? Instead I think I have a fair bit of dirt around here. Oh, the clay. I could even use the clay. We can just grab a handful of dirt from the field, right? Yeah. You'll see. You'll There's, be so, so impressed. She's aging. I might need a new pair of gloves though. Just saying. Yeah, probably. Super attractive. Nice. Bye. <laughs> you like this? This is my technique for aging. I'm just spreading. Wet dirt seems to be working better. And I'm just spreading it along here on my semi-wet paint. Maybe don't get this. Okay, let's see how it looks. Talk about embracing the dirt in your life, eh? Okay. Okay. Oops. Well. <laughs> Did you get it on the house? On, yeah. the, on the wall? Who cares? Okay. I might have too much dirt on here, but maybe I should use a towel now. Okay. Here is the halfway point of the painting of the front of the cabin as you can see on the left it was green and orange and then I painted it with a mix of paint which was too gray and bright so then I mixed a bunch of dirt in it and then spread it on there so now it looks a little more cabiny and um, yeah I'm happy with it so I shall continue okay here's the comparison of the um, paint job without the dirt treatment and with the dirt treatment and um, I'm thankful that I actually like that one better than this one because it's a little too late anyway so yeah I'm just about to start the other side now okay here is the finished painting on the cabin painting slash finishing it with dirt which I love dirt now who knew um, anyway, I think it looks good and, um, blends in a little bit better than the green and the orange, I think, but maybe that's just me. Hey everybody, it's Joe here. So we got our first big rainstorm and our first big, um, test of a living on a wetland <laughs> so you can see all the roads turned into rivers and uh, fortunately we dug all of our trenching 
got all our pipes and wires in, filled it, and then we had a great excavator guy here that was here for the last month. And he dug out a lot of the trenches that were that were dry, like the little creek beds that we were wondering if we were gonna get water in them. But we sure got water in them and they're at capacity. So I'm gonna give you a little tour of the, uh, the property today. <laughs> so crazy. This is where our Airstream is. You can see it's completely flooded. It's turned into a river. A little tiny creek bed that a week ago had no water in it is, has overflowed. And uh, but fortunately the major little creeks that we dug out are holding and transporting the water right through our property. But it's pretty spectacular. So enjoy the tour. Talk later. See you. Bye. Well, you wanted a creek. I know. You got a creek. And a river. <laughs> awesome. So awesome. It's like the best. I just wish I could put our house right over top of it. <laughs> Yeah, what's the, with the hammer? I'm going to have a nice bath. <laughs> okay. Yay! Here we go. <laughs> okay. Okay, in here? Yeah. Sun so sharp. Good job. 
<laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Half an hour gone, but the fire is still going to be cold in there, but there we go. Are you ready? Do you want to get that? Yes, I will. Okay, it's three o'clock in the morning and uh, we're coming back up to the tent, which collapsed. <laughs> so here's the tent. Crazy. I don't know if we should. It's still smoky? Oh yeah, big time. Let's just have a little peek here. So we actually had a fire going at the time and uh, so we had to put the fire out with snow, cool the chimney down, stack a chair over top of it. I don't know if you can see that. It's a bit of a mess. Anyway, we all made it out alive. Fun times on the farm. Yeah, I didn't know he would follow us, but he did, eh? He's okay, he's okay, I guess. Oh, that might be hot. You, come. I mean, he wouldn't step on it for once, but. <sighs> okay, we are trying to prop up the tent so we can take some of the things out of it. Okay. I hear that too. One, two, three. The tent is now back up. 